warm welcome to another one of my videos this time i'm going to explain about back titration how it is used and how to solve back titration problems a back titration is a titration method where the concentration of an analyte is determined by reacting it with a known amount of excess reagent back titration is typically applied in acid-based titration for example, when the acid, or more commonly, base, is an insoluble salt. Once the reacted residue is filtered off, the remaining excess reagent is then titrated with another second reagent. The second titration's result shows how much of the excess reagent was used in the first titration, thus allowing the original analyte's concentration to be calculated. In some cases, when a large amount of acid is used, or when its concentration is relatively high, instead of titrating all the resulting solution directly, it is diluted first, and a small portion of it is then titrated. Let's take a look at this problem. A 1 gram sample of a metal X was added to 100 ml of 0.5 molar sulfuric acid. So the reaction equation is this, and the molar ratio between X and sulfuric acid is 1 is to 1, because X forms a positive 2 ion. After all the metal has reacted, the remaining acid required 33.4 ml of 0.5 molar sodium hydroxide solution for neutralization and the reaction equation is this and the molar ratio between sulfuric acid and sodium hydroxide is 1 is to 2. Calculate the molar mass of the metal and identify the element. To find the molar mass of the metal we need to work backwards starting from the mole of sodium hydroxide needed in the titration. This is why it's called back titration. So here's our model. We can find the initial number of mole of acid using the given concentration and volume. We don't know how much of this excess sulfuric acid reacts with the metal X. The remaining acid is neutralized by 33 ml of 0.5 molar sodium hydroxide, that is 0.0167 mole. The molar ratio between sulfuric acid and sodium hydroxide is 1 is to 2. So the number of mole of sulfuric acid must be 0 0.00835 mole. Put them all together, we get this. And the sulfuric acid that reacts with metal X is found to be 0.04164 mole. The reaction of X and sulfuric acid is 1 is to 1. So the number of mole of X is also 0.04164. Molar mass is mass per mole. So plugging in the numbers for X, we get 24 gram per mole. This tells us that the element is most probably magnesium. In example 2, 1.69 gram of crushed eggshell was placed in a beaker containing 50 ml of 1 molar hydrochloric acid. Once the reaction was completed, the solution was quantitatively transferred to a 250 ml standard flask and made up to the mark with distilled water. 25 ml sample of the solution were titrated with 0.1 molar of sodium hydroxide solution and the average titer was 17.85 ml. Calculate the percent by mass of calcium carbonate in the eggshell. Here's our model again. We have the number of mole of 
hydrochloric acid initially added, which is 0 0.05 mole, we don't know how much of it reacts with the calcium carbonate in the eggshell. Now this time, instead of titrating all 250 ml of the remaining hydrochloric acid solution, only 25 ml is titrated with sodium hydroxide. And from the given volume and concentration of sodium hydroxide, we can find its mole, which is 0 0.001785 moles. Because the molar ratio of sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid is 1 is to 1, the number of mole of HCl is the same with the mole of sodium hydroxide. But this is only in 25 ml portion, or one-tenth of the total solution volume. So to find the number of mole in 250 ml of solution, we multiply this number by 10. Now plug in all the numbers into our model, and we find that the mole of hydrochloric acid that reacts with calcium carbonate in the eggshell is 0 0.03215 mole. Now the molar ratio between calcium carbonate and hydrochloric acid is 1 is to 2. So the number of mole of calcium carbonate is half that of hydrochloric acid. Now we find the mass of calcium carbonate by multiplying the mole with the molar mass. And the percent purity is just the mass of pure calcium carbonate divided by the mass of eggshell times 100, and it gives us 95.1%. That's it for today's tutorial. If you find this video useful, please like, subscribe, and share it. Thank you.